Meanwhile, uh, the, the back and forth on, on what happens with this tax cut, uh, the one we're told is going to add one and a half trillion to our debt in the next 10 years. A lot of traditional spending is going to add 10 trillion more. But it's that one and a half trillion via the tax cuts that's got this next guest annoyed and voting no. Democratic uh, Congressman from the beautiful state of California, John Garamendi. Um, Congressman, good to have you. Um, I understand the debt concern, but do you have any concern for just the traditional debt that grows uh, oh, of, of its own accord, the nine or ten trillion dollars more, leaving aside the tax cut debt? Absolutely so. The underlying debt, that is the base debt for 2019, next year, is $600 billion. And then you're added on top of that this new debt that will have to be acquired as a result of this legislation, this tax uh, reform or scam or whatever you want to call it. The other part of it, your uh, interesting uh, moment ago talking about increased interest rates. Uh, the Fed raised the interest rate to uh, slow down the economy. And uh, we're going to add another, well, $500 billion of federal demand for debt this year, $600 billion next year, plus what comes from this tax cut will probably be 100, maybe $150 billion of additional federal demand for money uh, this year, and then 2019. Uh, well over $200 uh, billion dollars of additional demand on top of the uh, But were you concerned about that yeah. additional oh, demand, absolutely. Congressman, when it was happening under Barack Obama and we piled up $10 trillion? Well, let's take a look at what happened during that period of time. Yes, no, I'm indeed, well aware it did what pile You're quite right no, no. about what happened and all that, but I'm just saying, I mean, debt no, is what, debt, what was piling the, on is what piling was, on, right? Yeah, what was the money used for? And that's a basic question about this tax bill. What was the money used for? In the tax bill, the money is used for a massive tax cut for corporations, actually $1.3 trillion of lower taxes for corporations. Will they spend that money on jobs? The answer is increasingly clear. No, they won't. How They'll do you spend know, it on stock. How do you know? Well, from their own words. Uh, the um, CEO of Wells Fargo said very clearly, even though they're going to have an 18 percent bump in their after-tax profit, he's going to spend that on stock buyback and dividends. But he what says if we have plenty of liquidity. But what investors and those who are involved in pensions or in the California pension fund and yeah. the public and private, and they will benefit sure. as a result of that, your very constituents, well, wouldn't you be happy no, about that? Well, I'd be much more happy if they had a job. They have perhaps a higher 4 uh, retirement, 401k. You've got a 4.1 percent unemployment rate, Congressman. That's now, well, before this even kicks in. That, well, we also know that there are many people that are unemployed that are not qualified for today's job. So we should be spending that money on preparing people for today's employment. That is job preparation, job training, retraining, all the rest. But we ought to look at the infrastructure that the president talked about, a trillion-dollar infrastructure program. Where's the money? Show me the money. The money's not there. But if you spent, over the course of the next five, six years, $100 billion a year, on infrastructure, you would employ over 2.1 million people in welfare. So you would be upper against his infrastructure jobs. plans that he and others are cooking up for next year? It's, it's non-existent. Where's the money? Come no, on. Well, but He's we, already but given up on the public. Uh, you're right. But I mean, technically, we could say that about everything, right? When you're 20 trillion plus in the hole, there's no money for everyone. If that's your well, litmus test, then we can't do squat. Right. So, so we're in your hole. You keep you dig deeper. Is that the idea? No, I don't think so. But we did but, just that, Congressman, over the, the course of the prior the administration and the prior administration before that. That's our history. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a history. But here we had an opportunity, a choice, if you will, tax cuts for corporations that are clearly going to use that money to buy back their stock, to pump up their stock price and dividends and CEO pay, and probably offshore. They have two and a half trillion dollars in cash. You're assuming sitting they're not going to hire one more with that or no, that uh, any of the benefit of their well, reinvesting in their stock in the market is going to benefit one American. Well, let's just that's one option. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. For the personal income tax cut, what are the what are the super wealthy earning over a hundred mil, a million dollars a year? What are they going to do? Hire somebody to wax their yacht? Or are they but, going to invest I mean, in if, a house if in if the you Bahamas? Think about it, are you then saying that because saying, of the tax cut, like you would say Here's, no to an infrastructure thing that you, uh, prior to the tax cut, you would have said yes to infrastructure, even though we didn't have the money for that? What I say, Neil, is you ha well, there was an option, there was an opportunity option before the Congress. One, tax cuts for corporations that are clearly going to use that money to increase their stock price by buying back. Or, and, and the super wealthy, what are they going to do? Wait a minute. Are they but, going uh, to invest that's in this? That's one quickly, option. The, tax the second thing, option. You're saying the I'm tax going to give cut you the thing second made option. you a no on infrastructure? 
No, the tax cut makes me even a stronger infrastructure. We had an option. All we right. could have spent that $1.5 trillion on infrastructure, building the foundation for economic growth and employing a couple, almost right. 4 million Americans. That was the choice. We made the, we, the Republicans made the choice to send the money okay, to the corporations Donovan. and the super wealthy. 83% of that wound up right there. We shall see. We'll watch it closely. Very we good will. seeing you again, Congressman. Thank you Take very care, much. Neil. Yeah.